In this video we're going to show you how to make this drum lampshade from the kit. We'll show you how to avoid some of the common mistakes such as a frayed edge on the join, frayed edges around the inside of the lampshade, making sure that you've got enough fabric at the join and also the correct placement of the rings so that you don't get an unsightly bulge along the top. As you can see here, there's a range of other different lampshades that you can make, including a cone, a square, an oval, and the small cones at the end. They all use the same basic principles for making them up, with just a few small differences. And if you go to our website, you'll be able to see what these differences are. The first thing you need to do is take your fabric panel and cut it down to a manageable size. So this panel is just slightly bigger than the lampshade liner that I've got here. And it's also slightly creased, so I'm going to give it a quick press. It's important to make sure that your fabric is face down on the table, so the wrong side will be facing up. The pack instructions say to lay your liner onto your fabric and just using a pencil to mark around it. But I find it easier to just use a ruler and you can lay it onto your fabric and check that you're getting the, in line with the grain of the fabric. And then I can just draw my guideline with a pencil along the bottom. Now if you're using a pattern fabric, what you would need to do is centralise your pattern within the lampshade. And then again, you've got your fabric face side down and the wrong side facing up. So I'm going to be centralising my lampshade around this diamond rosette here. So what we need to do is just measure the width of the liner, which is 20 and a half centimetres, so that when my liner is placed on here, I will get that rosette perfectly central. So I'm just going to measure down 20.5 centimetres and I'm going to centralise it off of this little diamond here. So I need the centre of the diamond to be about on 10 and a quarter, which is there. I measure down 20.5 and I just make a little pencil mark. Then I move a couple across and do exactly the same on a diamond further along the pattern. Get the center at 10 and a quarter. Mark down 20.5 with my pencil. And then I can just use a ruler to draw along that line. And another thing to bear in mind is trying to centralize the pattern around the lampshade as well, not just from top to bottom. So as I lay this on here, as I lay this liner on here, you can see that I'm going to take in three of these rosettes. So it's important to start in the right place. If I start here, I'm going to cut the rosettes in half. So it might be a good idea to draw a line where you want to start as well. So I'm just coming over the tip of this one here. So as I come to this, back to this end, you can see the tip of the rosette here and I'm about a centimetre over at this end as well, which is a perfect place to start. So I'm just going to draw a dotted line along here as well. So I've now got my starting place and I've got my guideline along the bottom. I'm now going to clamp my fabric onto the edge of my table. And if you don't have clamps, you can just use masking tape, which is just as good. So just stick your masking tape along the edge of the fabric and stick it onto your table. With the fabric nice and smooth and flat, I'm going to lay the liner down on top and butt the edge up against my pencil line. And make sure I've got a nice space all around it. And then put, just put a weight down on the liner to stop it wriggling around. And we're going to start at the end nearest me. So 
you just peel back the, the sticky. That's probably about 10 centimeters there that I've pulled back. And then, nice in line with the pencil line, I'm going to stick that down. Really press hard on the end that's nearest towards you. Now I can take the weight off and grab yourself a ruler and I'm going to use this to smooth the liner down as I peel away the cellophane on the back. So it's quite easy to do. Just push away and as you're pushing with your ruler, you're lifting the cellophane and hopefully the liner should stay nice and close to the pencil line that you've drawn. And just take your time. Go all the way to the very end. And once you've done that, just give it another good press down with a ruler. And that will smooth out any lumps and bumps underneath and any creases. And hopefully, if I turn this over, it should be nice and smooth on the other side. We now need to trim away the excess fabric from around the edge of the liner. And this is where I'm going to do something slightly different to how the pack does it. So the end that's furthest away from you, I'm going to allow an extra half a centimetre off the end. Now the reason I'm going to do this is if you cut your fabric directly in line with the edge of the liner, as you can see on this one here, you end up with a slightly fraying edge, which with the best will in the world, with any fabric, you're going to struggle to avoid that. Um, so I'm going to cut an extra half a centimetre so that I can fold the edge of the fabric round and get a, a tidier edge where, you, where the uh, fabrics join. So at this end, I'm also going to cut the width about three millimetres longer on each side for about two centimetres. And the reason I'm going to do this is because, as you can see here, you need a little bit more fabric to go around the ring at the top and at the bottom where the fabrics overlap. And the, I think the one and a half centimetres that you've got here isn't quite enough. I think you need an extra two or three mil to get around the ring. So just here, where the fabrics are gonna join, I'm gonna cut it about three mil longer. So I'm just gonna use my ruler to mark an extra half a centimetre at the end. And then for two centimetres along, I'm going to just cut an extra three mil. I haven't measured that, but that is actually three mil. It's just a, a rough guide. So you can see we've got the extra three mil here that's two centimetres in, top and bottom, and an extra half a centimetre along the edge. When you're trimming away the excess fabric, just be really careful, try and get as close to the liner as possible, and try to avoid the fraying edges. So you've got to be quite gentle with your fabric. Turn the fabric so that you've got the right side facing up and now we can bend back these strips. So do that all the way along the top and then along the bottom. And if we fold it back over 
can see here along the score line, this is where we're going to be pulling away this strip. So we're going to take off these edges now that we've just pushed back. Now it's really important to do this carefully because the fabric is going to fray really badly and then when it frays you really struggle to get a nice clean line when you put it around the ring later on. So just do this really slowly and really carefully and don't be tempted to just rip it off really quickly. So if we start on this one. So as you come to a little frayed edge, just pull it off with a sticky and hold it back down again. And I'm just finally going to trim away these few frayed edges that we didn't manage to save. Take your tape and we're going to lay the sticky side down. So this is the end where we cut the extra half a centimetre and we're going to lay it onto the liner just up against the edge, edge of it and then trim the end away now I'm going to peel the top layer of the tape off and then that reveals a sticky layer underneath and then we can just fold back this edge so start in the middle and kind of press towards the edges And I've got a nice clean edge there and then we're going to take another line of tape and lay this over the top We're not going to peel the red tape off yet, we're going to leave that till later. Now hold that back down there and now we're going to move on to the two rings. It's important to do this one first, we're going to put the red tape around the outside edge of this ring. The reason why you want to do that one first is you can then put it down when you do the second one because once you've done the second one you won't be able to put this one down because it's going to stick to the table. So. Do this one first and again just take your tape and we're just going to lay it on the edge of the ring Oops. and we're just going to take it all the way around the edge. Now once you get to where they're, they're joined together, trim that away, press the tape all the way around the wire. And once you've got it all the way around, we're going to take off the top layer of the tape again, as we did earlier. Just kind of like a two nail job. And then you can just peel that away. And then we can lay that down on the table, making sure that the sticky edge is upwards. And then we'll do exactly the same to the other ring. And we're now going to get going setting the rings in place. So you now need to think about which is going to be the top and bottom of your lampshade. So if you're using a pattern fabric, you would use this plain ring along the top for a lampshade and you would use this section along the bottom, as you can see here with this lampshade. Now this is very important that when you put these rings onto the fabric and liner, you don't actually put the ring onto the fabric, you place it against the edge of the liner. So you can see here that the edge of the ring is in line with the edge of the liner. I'm just going to wedge that upright with my tape measure and hold that in place. Then I can put this other ring up against the edge on this side. 
Now it is really important to make sure that you do stick these rings actually onto the liner rather than onto the fabric. If you do stick these rings onto the fabric you're going to end up with a ridge like this around the top and you'll also end up being short of fabric to fold over as you can see on the inside. Once you've got them stuck in place this the rest of it is actually relatively easy because the wheels these wheels of um, the lamp just roll along these lines here. So I'm working along the bottom of the ring and just slowly working along a few centimetres at a time making sure that the ring is just right on the edge of the liner. Move that tape measure now. As you can see, once you get going, it kind of follows its own path. You just maybe need to tweak it every now and again to make sure it stays on, on, on track. Now as we come towards this end, we're going to be peeling this red tape away so that we've got a sticky edge that we can stick onto this side of the lampshade. I get a little bit closer first. We can now take off this pink strip and keep going. And as you can see inside, the ring is just sitting along the edge of the liner all the way around. Now we just need to fold the edges in of the fabric. I'm going to start at the end that doesn't have the spokes on it. So just using my fingers, roll the edges over the top of the ring. And now we've done the top, you can just turn that over and have a look at the bottom. Now where these spokes are, we're going to have to make a little nick in the fabric so that it, we can part it and go around these spokes. So just three little snips into the fabric here. And we can do exactly the same, just roll the fabric over. Now I actually find it easier to just use my nails because I've got quite long nails and I can just tuck the fabric around. I think that's easier than using the tool. But if you haven't got nails, in the pack, just get rid of that loose thread, in the pack you've got this tool and this tool just pushes the fabric round the ring and gives it a nice neat edge. Now this does take a little bit of time, this is probably the, the hardest part of the whole thing, getting a nice smooth edge. What you can do, and we find that this makes this easier, is just get your tool and fold down the corner like that. And that just makes it a lot easier to come around here and tuck in those edges. If you're working on a larger shade and you feel that the ends is getting a little bit battered, or it's going soft on the end, then you can just take your scissors and kind of keep to the shape and then form yourself another little point on the end or fold that over and you can keep on going.